Hi everyone. I wanted to share with you a calculator that I've created that will allow you to calculate risks, relative risks, odds, and odds ratios given to case profiles. And this may be useful as a follow-up to a binary logistic regression. So first, let me just kind of note that you can obtain a copy of this uh, Excel calculator uh, at the link that is provided underneath the video description. And basically what I'm going to do is walk you through the calculator and then provide a short example with some real data. So the first rule when using this calculator is only change those, uh, those cells that are in yellow. Uh, because in the yellow, the uh, cells in white, uh, or many of the cells in white, those contain formulas. And so if you make changes there, then it will throw off some of the calculations, or many of the calculations. So We'll start over on the left here. You'll see that under variable name, I've got four predictors uh, named female, SES, public, and this pro for uh, years variable. And so that's associated with uh, a binary logistic regression that I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, in the B column, these are the regression coefficients. So you have the intercept. Uh, if you're using SPSS or some other programs, I'll just simply refer to it as a constant. Um, but that you'll, that's what uh, that value should be from your output. You'll also have the regression slopes for each of your predictors. So you've got X1 through X4, which is supposed to correspond to your variable names right here. Now you'll notice that in the B column, uh, after the four predictors and the intercept, you'll see that uh, we start with zeros down here and that's because I ran a regression model with only the four predictor variables but the zeros you have to put into the calculator so you can see the calculator is designed for a logistic regression with up to 10 predictors but um, for those predictors that uh, are for for the cells uh, following the last predictor they should all be set to zero if you uh, have a missing uh, values for instance if I remove this if I uh, delete the zero you'll see that all of these calculated values will will disappear so you need to have a zero in after uh, for all the cells after your last predictor so over to the right you'll see that we've got this G column right here an H column and this is for profile one and profile two so basically you can substitute values on your predictors into uh, these columns and then generate essentially logits, odds, risks, and uh, then down below you've got odds ratios and risk ratios as well. So then the next step So now let me run a quick analysis and uh, we'll uh, create a couple of case profiles. So here we have some data from the High School and Beyond survey. This was actually published in Heck et al's book. Um, on multi-level modeling. We're going to basically run a single level uh, logistic regression, but uh, what we're going to do is we are going to be predicting uh, whether a, a student passes or fails a math achievement measure. So that's going to be the dependent variable. And so a value of zero indicates that the student passed, a value of one indicates failure. And basically what I did is I just dichotomized this variable, I just created a cut point um, at random um, in order to, to create this binary outcome. So our predictor variables are going to be this female variable, it's coded zero for male, one for female, SES, so that's socioeconomic status, the mean of this is about zero. Um, we also have this variable right here, public, uh, that is basically indicating the type of school the student attends, so uh, public school is basically coded 1, private school is coded 0, and then this uh, variable right here, this is the proportion of students in the school in intending to go to four-year college. Um, like I said, this is really used, um, the data is actually used in the context of a multi-level analysis, but we're just going to run this using a single level approach uh, just for this 
the purpose of this demonstration. So what we'll do is we will go over to Analyze Regression. We'll go down to Binary Logistic and you can see I've got the Math Fail variable in there, then Female, SES, Public, and then our of uh, intentions variable right here. So when I click on OK uh, and scroll down, you can see that we have our regression table at the bottom. These are the regression slopes uh, for each of the predictors. So you can see the constant down here. This is the intercept. So we're substituting that value into the um, into our Excel file, as well as for female. There's the regression slope, SES slope, public slope, and then the pro four years. Uh, or the intentions variable uh, being uh, substituted in. And when we substitute, substitute those values in, uh, you'll also see that my calculator will go ahead and generate the odds ratios as well. So what I did uh, in setting this up is I just basically sort of, I just kind of double clicked right here and then copied it and then pasted it into um, each of these cells. But you can uh, just as easily just type it in. And so, again, over here we have our odds ratios associated with each of the predictors. Okay, so let's consider a couple of profiles. So you'll see over here where it's got case one profile. Again, you know, basically this first uh, row right here, these are in w that white space I was telling you about. And so these are values that we're going to associate with the intercept. So now for our four predictors right here, we're going to do it for, for uh, case one and then case two. So given the coding on our predictors for the female variable, let's say that I want uh, case one to be uh, identified as male. So that's going to be a zero. For case uh, uh, for case one on SES, we'll we'll leave that as zero, which will be roughly the mean for SES. Then for the third predictor, the public variable, we'll leave that as zero. That will be for private school, and then the last predictor, which will be the uh, pro four years variable, which will we'll set this at 0 .08. So the proportion of students in that school intending to go to four year uh, college is uh, roughly we had about eight percent. So for the second profile, we're going to make this person uh, be identified as male, and we'll we'll still treat that person as being at the mean on SES uh, in a private school, and then we'll also go ahead and set this proportion uh, for that fourth predictor int intention to go to uh, four-year college at 0 .08. So you can see that these two profiles only differ with respect to gender identification. So you'll notice that basically there's our case one uh, logit right here, case two logit right here, case one odds, case two odds, and then we also have the uh, case one risk, case two risk. Let me also note that the y equals one is referring to the target outcome. So in this case, our target outcome is uh, failure. Um, so we have, again, there's our case one risk, case two risk. So um, you'll see below we've got the odds ratio, which is a ratio of case two relative to case one, and then the relative risk that's given. So you'll notice that with the odds ratio, because we had um, th this individual was coded one for the male uh, for the female variable, that odds ratio is actually going to be equal to the odds ratio that we see for the for the um, for the uh, female variable right here. So you can see that's it uh, right there, the 1.374. Um, okay, so next, if we wanted to report on the relative risk for case two, basically the probability of case two relative to case one, um, you know, you, you have right here, this is the risk for case two, this is the risk for case one. So for a female uh, who is at the mean on SES in a private school where the school's uh, proportion of students intending to go to four-year college is 0 .08, the risk of failure is 0 .418. For males, uh, the risk would be 0.345. And so if we take a, the ratio of case two to case one, then we get the relative risk right here. So it's 1.217. So basically, um, the risk for females is 1.2176 times greater than the risk for males who are at the mean on SES uh, within a private school context where the proportion of students intending to go to four-year college is, is 0 .08. Then uh, down below, if you wanted to take, you know, form an odds ratio for case one odds relative to case two odds, uh, this would be the value that's given right here. And then the relative risk for case one uh, 
to case two risk uh, would be given right here. So as you can see, you can pretty much just make whatever substitutions that you want for the different profiles. And um, if you want to, uh, again, if you want to generate odds, risks, and also generate uh, odds ratios and, real, and uh, risk ratios, it's very easy to do with this calculator. Okay, so that uh, pretty well wraps up this video demonstration. Again, you can, uh, you can obtain a copy of the calculator uh, underneath the video description. Uh, there will be a link that will be provided to you. So thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a great day.